Derek Ansley is the new Chargers defensive coordinator, and the way all of this went down is a bit weird, but I'm going to pull up all of this information so we can better understand how and why all of this went down. And while I do that, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video if you enjoy the content. It helps me out so much. And now it all starts with Vic Fangio. Now, Vic Fangio was hired as the Dolphins defensive coordinator recently and was looking to fill out his staff. He worked with both Brandon Staley and Ronaldo Hill in Chicago and Denver. He only worked with Ronaldo Hill when he was in Denver, uh, but Staley was the outside linebackers coach under Vic Fangio and Ronaldo Hill was the defensive backs coach. Vic Fangio reached out to Ronaldo Hill and was able to hire him as I'm assuming the defensive backs coach in Miami, convincing him to leave his coordinator job and step back down to position coach. So why is he going to Miami to get his job demoted under Vic Fangio? Well, I think the reason that Ronaldo Hill is leaving is because he knows that Vic Fangio is not going to be a defensive coordinator for long. In the same way that I think Kellen Moore is going to be a head coach soon, the same goes for Vic Fangio. He's too good to be a coordinator for so long. And Ronaldo Hill would likely be the next man up in Miami when that happens. Given his experience as a former NFL defensive back, he played 10 years in the NFL. In two of those years, actually, he played with the Dolphins. But also, his experience as already being a defensive coordinator in the NFL. But the reason that he is leaving to possibly have the opportunity to become a defensive coordinator again is because he wants to have total control over his defense. That's what I believe because Brandon Staley was calling the plays and it was always going to be Brandon Staley's defense as long as he is on the team. The only way that Ronaldo Hill would have total control and total say over everything in the defense is if he goes away and under someone like Vic Fangio, he probably runs a very similar system. So when that happens and when Vic Fangio goes to become a head coach, Ronaldo Hill would already have the majority of what he wants in a defense already set up, already in place, and it wouldn't be too much of a difference in Miami once he becomes the defensive coordinator. And the only way that he was ever going to have total control over a defense the way that he would in Miami if he becomes the defensive coordinator there is if he left Brandon Staley. So now that that's all cleared up, who is the next man up in Los Angeles to become the defensive coordinator? Well, naturally, it's another DB coach, Derek Ansley. Derek Ansley played safety at Troy and he had 19 interceptions, which is the second most in Troy football history. And he actually played with Demarcus Ware and O.C. Uminiora. That's a fun fact. He spent time as a defensive back coach in college where he coached at Tennessee, Kentucky, and Alabama where he coached Minka Fitzpatrick before becoming the defensive coordinator in Tennessee in 2019 until he became the defensive backs coach for the Chargers. So now we don't have a secondary coach. Well, you just promote the assistant secondary coach, Tom Donatel, who was actually the son of the Vikings defensive coordinator, Ed Donatel, to become the DB coach. And now we don't have an assistant secondary coach. If they want to go hire one, I'm sure they can. It's not as important as getting guys like a defensive coordinator and a DB coach. And I think it's not going to change too much. This defense is not going to be very different because it still aligns with what Brandon Staley wants. And again, the reason why I think Renato Hill left in the first place is because this is Brandon Staley's defense and it always will be. The biggest difference to this team that you're gonna see from all of these coaching changes is gonna be the Kellen Moore hire. That is 100% certain. We're gonna see so much better, so much more creativity. There's so much room for creativity. But let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of you wanted Ronaldo Hill fired after the season ended. So, I mean, you kind of got what you were wanting, but it's still going to be the same defense next year. So, not exactly what you want, but he is gone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys next time.